What's up, everybody? We are back. Look at, we're back right where we uh, left off. Actually, like, I just like started the game up and came right back. So um, this is our second episode of Surviving and Thriving, where I just play a survival game, kind of talk about life and just, you know, just do the thing, man. It's actually the f second episode. So the first episode was really like therapeutic for me. I don't know. It was just like super nice. Um, I know some people listen to it, all that kind of stuff. If you guys did listen to it, enjoy it. Dude, let me know uh, in the comments down below. I'd appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff and whatever. Uh, it's been about, I mean, almost a week since I recorded that. I'm pretty sure uh, a little less than a week since I recorded that. And so I haven't done anything else uh, without you guys, but I am uh, I'm ready to get to work here. So I'm thinking that we've got to get uh, a, a few different things, right? We've got a bed. We've got a semi-shelter. Um, we don't have water set up yet. So I think we might actually make a water filtration system type thing. Um, but we do have these coconuts that are kind of working while it's, uh, I guess it's raining, you know? So let's keep it moving. Uh... I, right now it's actually Sunday, so tomorrow I'm getting back to stream. Uh, I always love the feeling of like coming back to stream on a Monday. I don't know. I, I, streaming is my most favorite thing in the world, and so whenever I come back to stream, for some reason, it's just like I'm super excited to get back and uh, live, and you know, I don't know, just kind of doing the whole thing. You never know what the next week is going to bring or, or, or whatever, and so I just love creating in that way, and so it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. We're going to, uh, up next, we're going to take some mud. This is going to help us learn quite a few things. Uh, we're going to have a mud mixer uh, that we'll have. And eventually what this mud's going to do is we can build, like, storage boxes. You know, you can build a whole house out of mud, which is really nice. And then um, you can also build, like, water filtration stuff and whatnot, which I don't think I can build just yet. I think I have to find some other stuff, but I'm going to make this mud mixer right next to the water. And the reason being, um, is that it, like you just throw the mud right in there and then bada bing, bada boom. Now we're going to need a lot of charcoal for this mud mixer. And so, uh, we'll get to work on that as well. Uh, the only downside to out here right now is that we've got a lot of bamboo, uh, and not a lot of trees. So, uh, the trees that we do have, we're not going to want to completely, uh, tear them down. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, just chop them down like this so they regrow. And uh, hopefully we can get a constant st stream of like uh, trees, you know. I do think that uh, I, I, I like this area that we're in. I, I can kind of dream up a couple things that we can do with this area. And I think it'll be uh, very good. I, I want to kind of go a little bit farther than what I've done before on this game and make you know, just some different, just some different type things like, I don't know, like a little workshop and like that kind of stuff. Get kind of a uh, full on nerdy with it, you know? So let's go ahead and see if we can build this. Oh, I did get a mud charcoal furnace. Good. So I can do that. All right, we need just logs now, which is going to be a little bit hard for us because we don't have, um, like I said, a lot of trees around here. But we should be able to go and find a couple, which will help out. Got a lot of loud sounds in the distance, which was kind of, like, scary there. I don't know. I was thinking, I'm like, is that a freaking lion? I don't know. If, I don't think even lions are around. <laughs> I think it's just, I think it's just, uh, <laughs> like, like, pumas and sheet like that, you know? All right, we need these logs. Boom. Let me grab these. Uh, the, the other thing that I want to work on today, other than just water and, um, like, food. So that means we're going to make we're gonna make a water filter. But we're also going to make uh, some, like, traps. Uh, some, like, animal traps. Uh, the other thing I want to work on is storage. So hopefully we'll have enough time to work on all three of those and kind of get through those and whatnot. But yeah, this weekend's been really good. We uh, we went on a hike this weekend, a uh, four-mile hike, which is actually pretty long for me, my wife, and uh, my roommate as well. Um, they were, like, a little nervous about it. I had gone on the hike already, 
they were a little bit nervous about it, and then uh, it ended up being totally fine. They were they were complete champs. Um, and so it was it was actually really really fun. There's a place out here called uh, Griffith Park. I'm in LA, by the way. If you ha haven't listened to anything um, that I've done before or have seen anything I've done before, but I'm in I'm in LA, and uh, yeah, we were out out Griffith Park, and there's a there's a merry-go-round right out here that is supposedly the merry-go-round that Walt Disney dreamed up um, like the idea for Disneyland because he was at the merry-go-round and, and they said that or and then he said that he wanted a place for his daughters to go that was kind of like that and uh, it's just kind of a really like inspirational type of place I think for any creative person or like per, like you know creative type uh, sometimes finding those little spots is just the best in my opinion and so we were out there, and uh, it, was, it was pretty chilly, so it wasn't, like, super hot or anything like that, which was nice. And any of my people from the East Coast, you guys are probably saying, like, yeah, I'm sure it was real chilly out in California. I'm sure it was just freezing. <laughs> but um, for us, it was, like, a little bit chilly. Apparently, there was somebody uh, that had gone missing out there, so we saw the search and rescue team. Just as we were leaving, we saw the search and rescue team coming by. Oh, no. It was kind of scary. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" I've I've been out there alone uh, quite a couple times, so I'm like, "Um, maybe I shouldn't be out there alone," <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah. I wish we need a couple more. We need a few more logs, right? I think we need like three more, maybe four more. I think it's four more. Boom. Let's go ahead and put these on the beach here. So what we'll focus on, since we're in a, in a, uh, predominantly, um, a predominantly bamboo area, we're going to make sure that we bring back sticks always and, and stuff like that as much as we can. I'm not going to go around carrying like logs and stuff, but uh, I'm going to try to come back with sticks as much as I can and like small and big sticks. Uh, because then that's, we just won't be able to start our fire if we don't do that, so. That could be bad. Pretty bad. But this is, the, is kind of cool. I, I actually really enjoyed uh, hearing some of the response from what we did. Uh, or from the last podcast that, that went up. Uh, I'm glad that some people are listening to it, dude. It, it's It's definitely something that. These types of things are, are stuff that I really enjoy doing where you just get to talk about different topics and just random stuff. This one's a little bit more like off the cuff than what I would like to create in the future with like podcast type shows and stuff. But uh, this is more honestly, I, I just, this kind of refocuses me for the week. If I can, if I can like record these on a Sunday and just kind of play through this game and just talk through some of the things coming up or talk through some of my ideas coming up and uh i don't know it's cool and so if you guys enjoy that then awesome if not no worries at all i'll probably still be here because it, i enjoy it speaking of uh this week i've actually got my first in like what is it like two and a half almost three years my first ever sponsored stream so uh it's kind of cool actually stream elements um will give you like offers for like sponsored streams and normally they completely suck but this one in particular actually is going to be pretty uh it's actually pretty good uh, it's with HelloFresh, and we're going to be uh basically anyone who signs up with hello fresh it's like a really honestly a really good deal for me personally and uh i mean yeah, I can't really share, like, numbers-wise, but, like, it's definitely, uh, it'll definitely help out, for sure, for me and my family, if, uh, you know, some people want to want to try out HelloFresh, and it's kind of a, a refreshing thing, too, because we, um, we've used HelloFresh a lot, and it's been, like, really, really, um, we just know it, and so it, it made it, like, so much more legit than if, uh, if it was like some other random like mobile game or some sheet like that, you know. But so hopefully it'll be pretty fun. I got some uh, some fun ideas planned for it, and uh, I'm hoping that 
Hoping that that uh, does. I mean, even if it does like semi well, it'll be a, a huge help for uh, my family financially for sure. So, uh, hoping for the best on that for sure. It, it's it's a little bit stressful like planning new things. I'm, I'm trying to get back to. Uh, before, when I was making streams, I, I was planning things, like, so, so consistently and, uh, you know, new things every single day and stuff like that. And I like that a lot, and I like that type of content, but I also like the idea that some people know what to expect when they come in. I, I don't know. It goes back and forth kind of on a daily basis in my mind, and so it's it's a little bit of a crazy thing. But I do... I, I like a mixture of the both. And so... Uh, Today, I've been just kind of taking time to, to plan ahead and kind of start thinking through, okay, what are some of the things that I want to see out of the stream going forward? Uh, what are some things that are working? What are some things that aren't? And so that's uh, kind of big, been my biggest thing. I, I'm To be completely honest with you guys, I'm coming out of a really tough mental just like slump over the last like three, four months, I would say, somewhere around there. And I'm finally starting to feel like a little bit, you know, a little bit more normal again. And so I'm like starting to really open up my, like my mind. I can just feel it starting to open up creatively again. And I, I want it to be like full on right now, but I just got to be patient uh, for when I, I get to that point. Um, and, I, you know, I, I try not to I try not to show that kind of stuff like on stream because I just don't think people really want to see too much of that but I think this is a good place to kind of talk about it and what's kind of crazy is it doesn't really have anything to do with like numbers or anything like that I don't know I just for some reason I've just been feeling like I, I, I think the, the the correct thing to say would what I'm feeling is I, I feel like I don't do enough like I, there's never a point where I feel like I've done enough for stream or to grow my stream or to push things forward I, like that's I guess that idea of like not matching up to my own expectation is really where my head's at and it's a kind of a difficult thing for me and I know I'm just like really insanely hard on myself and I can tell myself that a million times but um it hasn't like stopped me from like feeling that that even sometimes like on stream you know uh, it, and it doesn't even necessarily have to do with, like, numbers or if, like, people aren't talking in chat. Um, sometimes that can, like, bring those thoughts on. But it just feels like sometimes I just don't do enough or I don't match up to my own expectation. And and I, I, I imagine a lot of people feel that, you know? I don't know if a lot of people, like, where they, f how they feel that or if they do or, or if you guys do. Um, but I imagine a lot of people feel like they don't match up to what they're supposed to and it probably it kind of paralyzes them a little bit as well. Luckily, I, I've kind of been through some of these moments before, like in the past, and I've, I've known, I've, I've realized that it doesn't mean that I should like take time off of stream because when I take time off of stream, it just gets worse. And so, uh, what I do is I, I tend to, uh, I tend to power through, um, and not power through in the way where it's like, oh, just grit your teeth and keep going, but keep tabs on like how I'm feeling and try to be very, very clear with how I'm feeling. I'm not the best with like voicing that to the people around me and I'm not really the best at um, sharing things like that, but for some reason, like in my own mind, uh, I'm making the mud right now. I'm about to mix it up right here. So, uh, we're about to see that it's going to be pretty dope, but yeah, I'm just not the best at that. What is that behind me? That was terrifying. I don't know what that sound was. And <sighs> Like I said, uh, hopefully I'm I'm kind of on the uh, on the other side of it right now. I I really think I'm starting to come out of it because I got, because I can start to feel my creative energy like coming back, and I'm really excited about it to be honest because it's been really hard not to just like consistently just sleep 
like non-stop just sleep and you know i get off stream and just fall asleep when i should be doing x y and z and it makes it worse because i know i should be doing x y and z and i'm not and you know it, it, it's just like kind of compounds and so uh i'm trying to kind of dive into the some of those things of why do i feel that way what's that is it from something or is it just that i just feel that way and that's something I'm going to have to wrestle with as I go on my creative journey and um, all that kind of stuff, you know? Okay, so we're trying to get this thing filled up with sticks so that we can get a whole bunch of charcoal cooking. That's what this thing is completely made for, is just cooking charcoal. It's like all it's really used for. Um, so we just fill this baby up. I think we can fill it up with the bamboo sticks too, but I'm not 100% sure. And so once we get that going, then we can get our water filter moving and grooving. Because we need a lot of charcoal for that as well. Uh, which is why I just opted into like, you know what, let's make this charcoal, um, furnace. Versus it being like, oh, let's collect one charcoal from each fire. Like, the only other way to get charcoal is to let a fire burn out. Or to find it, you know? So, there's that. How's our vitals going here? We need water. That's for sure. Can I eat this? Let's do that. I'm not dirty, am I? No. Okay, good. We got water in these. Nice. We need as much as we can. Perfect. That's looking better. Eat some of those as well. A little bit of more protein, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Alright, I'm going to sleep, even though the sleep schedule is going to get all, like, wacky. It doesn't really matter too much in the game. Dude, don't you hate when your sleep schedule gets, like, completely effed? In the moment, it feels so good because, I don't know, like, sometimes staying up late just feels so much better than not staying up late in the weirdest, in the weirdest way. But, um... Like, I, I, I like working late, like late night, like working on things. I just feel like it's so much, I don't know, it's just like so much better than than not. It, like, everyone's quiet, you know, everything's just all good. You don't have to worry about what so-and-so's doing, or are they going to text me, or are they going to call me, or, you know, I don't know. I used to stay up really late, um, all the time. But I think, like I said, I think my whole, like, mental side of things lately has been, uh, kind of changing my personality a bit. Which I'm not really the biggest fan of, to be honest. But we on our way out of that sheet. We on our way out of that sheet, baby. Boom. Bitch. I need to clean my hands as well before I eat. You see on the bottom left, there's like that dirty kind of symbol. That symbol is, uh, it just shows that you're, you're, you're a dirty boy. Okay. And you need to, uh, clean off before you eat or else you will be screwed. Royally screwed. Uh, you'll get like a parasite and you got to go through this whole like process. Um, one thing that we do not have either is we don't have like any um, bandages, which is very dangerous for this stage in the game. So I, I need to keep a lookout for a, a, a plant that uh, has the bandages. It's basically just like a basic plant that almost looks like like these kind of, and then it has yellow flowers in it. Um, luckily, I'm colorblind, so yeah, it could be hard to find. <laughs> Normally, it is hard to find. But we're doing pretty good so far. I'm starting to build our little home here. Get some more charcoal here. Nice. 
Okay. I'm not seeing... I don't think we have the... Uh, we only have a mud shower. We don't have another filter right now. That's kind of unfortunate, because normally you get like a, a different filter. It doesn't look like we got it yet. We are going to make some of these um, kind of all about different areas. Uh, let's go put this down below. We're going to probably need to go to the other side to collect enough sticks and stuff for this. And we might not really get this done today, but I'm just going to at least put this down there so that it's here. So uh, our three goals today, we got to remember, are... I don't think that's far enough in there, is it? That should be pretty good. It's, this thing takes so many sticks, dude. 50 sticks. That's cracked. I don't think we can put bamboo sticks in there. Let me just see real quick. I don't know why they're discriminating against bamboo, but I mean, hey. Kind of jacked up, if you ask me. Let's see. Will you take bamboo sticks, sir? You bastard. You bastard. Imagine not taking bamboo sticks, bro. Couldn't be me. Uh, some other stuff that I'm planning this week. Uh, I'm going to do like... I'm going to do a tier list. We're going to do like a cereal tier, tier list where... The top cereals, and I'm sure it's going to piss off a lot of people what my top cereals are and whatever, whatever. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> and then we're also, this last week, um, we had, we had like a sub goal where if we hit it, the chatterbox could use my uh, credit card to buy things, basically. And it was kind of like a little clickbaity because basically what they do is they, they give me stuff to buy. Oh, here's one of the bandage things. Nice. Okay. Um, but they give me stuff to to buy. Like they send me links on five below because poor. And uh, <laughs> and basically, they sent me a whole bunch of really funny things, and we voted on them if I should buy them or whatever. And then we also ended up buying Booga, which is like a I don't know if you don't know who Booga is, the super popular like Fortnite like uh, competitive player. He has like these fi this five dollar keyboard there, five dollar mouse, five dollar mic. All this kind of stuff, and so, so we bought that as well. And so my plan is tomorrow, which is Monday, to do like opening of those gifts and everything. But I just don't think they're gonna get here. They're supposed to get here today, and they haven't. It's 7:50 p.m. right now. I'm, I'm. Oh my god, I'm not. Uh, I'm not counting on it. Tbh. I just spilt that all out. Okay, great. Love my life. But I'm not counting on it. You know, like. <sighs> It's not looking good, basically. What do we get that's new? Oh, we got that. Okay, cool. Also, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and craft this really quick. Um, these right here... We want to make leaf bandages. Boom. I think I can make multiples of these, too. Watch. Boom. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, that's new. I didn't. I didn't realize that was a thing. That's really cool. So some of these will want to um, craft this with this, and then you can make a tobacco dressing, which helps with. I'm, I believe it helps with like getting bit by a snake and stuff like that. I believe it is. And the campfire ash is going to help with like an open wound. So if you think about it, man, like these, like, like. Having to figure this stuff out is actually pretty difficult. It's, it's definitely, like, within a handbook on, on the game. But it's not, like... Yeah, it's not super uh, super easy to know where things go and what things... Where things are and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we got charcoal going. Um, we can probably make some more mud as well. Which I think we can make... The only problem is we can't really make the... I thought we were going to be, be able to make the mud... Water filter, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. I think I have to go somewhere else for that to find it, to learn it. 
But what we'll do next is uh, we'll worry about storage then. So we've got, uh, we don't really, I guess we don't really have food though, huh? We'll make a snare trap, that's what we'll do. Let's go make a snare trap really quick and then we're gonna work, we're gonna make this whole area down here a little, uh, a little workshop slash storage area. So it'll be kind of cool. I don't know how I'm gonna make it yet, but I'm gonna try to make it into something presentable, which normally doesn't really work out for me. I say we put this snare trap like out here. Um, or we could do a bow trap too, that'd be kind of crazy. I think you have to load it with arrows though, which I'm not a huge fan of. Let's just do this. I'm gonna just build this right here. It's right next to some more bandages, baby. Look at this. How did we not find any bandages before? Were we just not looking or what? Kind of nice is this is like right next to some trees too. There we go. Is it a long stick? We got it right here. Boom. What else we need? Sticks. I'm kind of getting a little scared. I, I feel like we're going to get attacked by something pretty, like, soon. And anytime I feel like that's the truth, it, uh, it just starts to happen, you know? <laughs> last time I said that, like, in the last episode, dude, we freaking got attacked by a puma. It was actually, like, awful. <laughs> it was, like, terrifying, dude. I'm actually pretty afraid of, like, pumas or, like, mountain lions, stuff like that. We were, uh... We were out hiking this weekend, and there was a... I think I might be able to put, like, a rat in there? No. There was definitely a... Or there, there was, like, a sign that said, Watch out for mountain lions. And I was like, oh, God, do I really like this whole... This, this whole adventurous <gasps> thing? Or am I just, uh... I don't know, do I like the idea, you know? Okay, we got a snare trap over there that we can start to check. We're going to also start to worry about our um, our fish trap. We want to start getting some more sticks for that. We need about 50 sticks, but I think let's start, let's start working on a little storage, you know? I don't know if we're going to even be able to build down here, to be honest, so we might want to check that before we go too crazy or anything. It looks like we're going to be able to build. Yeah, let's see, if it turns yellow, it's just that other things are in the way that we need to chop down. I think we'll be able to build down here. Should be alright. You guys remember the beginning of the last episode, dude. It was like... I thought we were going to be able to build, and then we definitely were not at all able to build. Which really kind of sucked. <laughs> we definitely need to uh, go hunting pretty soon. Not hunting, but we just need to make sure we have some food starting to smoke and everything. Because it takes a while... For things to start smoking, you know? Ooh, this is huge though. We got a ban banana tree. It's always good. Let's go ahead and eat those. We can also plant banana trees, so we could have like a whole farm if we really wanted to. I think that'd be kind of cool, actually. Kind of cool to have a little farm, huh? I will say, we're probably going to go through axes pretty quick here. The way he, like, screams every time he hits this, you know? <laughs> I do want to know something from y'all, though. Do you, do you guys think you could actually survive in a situation like this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, okay? I love you guys, and I think you're awesome, and I think you're amazing. But I really think there's no shot in hell you'd, you'd survive. <laughs> I, I just, I don't believe it, okay? So if you're going to be that guy in the comments who's like... Yeah, yeah. No, I would definitely 100% survive. I'm going to just say you probably won't. I feel like it's the people who don't say they'll survive that will survive. So we're clearing this out. This is kind of nice. 
Um, we want to get rid of all these small piles of leaves. These things are freaking useless. Uh, we could probably craft these. Let's go ahead and craft like all three of those. We also have dirty hands, so we got to make sure we know that. The rain will probably clean this off though, so it'll be nice. Boom. Okay. We are going to need to make another axe pretty soon here. Now, I'm really excited for uh, TwitchCon. Actually, like, I don't know if I'll meet, like, a whole bunch of people there that I know. I'm not expecting anyone to really know me, of course, but... I would love to see some, like, viewers there and stuff. I think that would be something that's really cool. It'd be really fun. Those things are just complete. They, like, piss me off when they're in my inventory. I hate them so much. These small leaf piles, dude, I will, I literally will rage. That's in my inventory, okay? Don't test me. Okay, bamboo frame. I'm going to build this not directly against the rock because I do want to build something else with it. But uh, we do have enough logs to just like build it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> They're all making weird noises. All right, now we just need the long bamboo. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. And hopefully uh, the quality on these videos are like halfway decent at least. It's really hard to record or stream things like this because it's just so incredibly like like heavy because because of, of all the the whatever it's called all the like shrubbery and stuff. It's just really hard to, like, do this, you know? And do it well. I kind of screwed up here. Well, that's all right. I was going to build, like, a side of that, but maybe we'll just put that on the next side. <sighs> no worries. <sighs> it's my life. We improvise. Boom. We improvise. It's what we do best, Chatterbox. It's what we do best. I do wonder how I want to do this, like, storage situation, though. Not really sure the best way to do it. Not really good with organizing stuff, you know? I'm more of the, uh... Low IQ type. <laughs> I'm, I'm more... <laughs> I'm more of the, you know... The I have no clue type. What the hell? Animal droppings. Nice. Those will be useful to us at some point, but not right now. Make sure we don't get bit by a snake. That could be one of the worst things that would happen to us right now. But also, actually, we have the bandages now, so we're, we're kind of alright. But right now, our only focus is just doing storage. Just getting storage ready. I want to be like as much as we can, I want to have like a good, a good like storage setup, so then we can get you know some meats like smoked up, and we'll have those stored away. We'll get like a whole bunch of uh, just stuff ready, and then it'll make sense for us to go out and explore and kind of do the whole thing. Because realistically, one like little mess up on this man, I mean you lose your whole save. You're just done. And so I'm gonna do that. Can I do it? I can't do it on the other side. There's no shot. No shot. No shot. That's all right. We'll build that there, I think. That'll be good. I do think we ought to cut down one more. Ooh. Little bastard, huh? I was about to eat that. Let's just not. Let's just leave it. I'll take that, though. Okay. Cut down a couple more of these. Stupid piece of shit. 
shit. Damn, bro, chill. Not that. That's what I want. Bam. He's so angry, you know what I mean? Why is he so angry? I don't know. You know, lately I've been trying to take a, uh, be, or be a little bit more purposeful about reaching out to family and stuff. Um, it's actually been really nice. I've been using, like, I'm really bad with texting. I actually, like, really hate texting. I don't know why. I don't know, like, where that comes from or when that started, but I just really, texting is, like, so annoying to me. I think it's also, it has to do with the fact that, like, every time I go to text somebody, I forget what I was doing in the moment. And I just can't, like, get back to where I was. And I hate that so much. Like, so much. And so, I don't know. I, I think that's part of it. And so, and so what I've been doing lately is I've just been doing that, like, whole, like, voice text thing. Where you, where you just, like, you know, you just send, like, a voice message. Almost like a walkie-talkie or something. That's been, like... Keeping me a little bit more uh, in line, to be honest, because, dude, it's, uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm, like, really bad with that kind of stuff, and it stresses me out that I'm, like, bad with it, and I actually want to be way better with it. I, I don't want to be that, that guy who regrets not talking to his parents more, or, you know, his brother, or that kind of stuff, and obviously, like, my relationship with my wife is, like, super, super... Like, the most important thing, and... Yeah, you know? <laughs> Boom! Boom! Give me that sheet. You know, there's like, there's some people, dude, that with the whole like relationships and like families and like reaching out to people, there's some people who are so good at it. Like just so incredibly good at consistency on that. And I kind of, I wish I was more like, if you're one of those people, I wish I was more like you. I don't know what goes on. It might just be, be me dealing with my own sheet and all that kind of stuff. But man, I, I just wish... I wish I was more like that. Like, that came naturally to me. Like, lately I've been actually having to, like, force myself to reach out and and talk with, like, you know, like, my mom, my dad, and all that kind of stuff. And I love talking to them. It's not that I don't even like... not that I don't love talking to them. It's just I, I have to, like, make sure that happens. And when it does, it's, like, an amazing, awesome, awesome thing. But... I don't know. I'm just... Maybe I'm just... Maybe it has to do with how my family, like, is, or, like, you know, kind of how I was brought up or something, but... I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, I, I grew up in a in a divorced home, and so... It was very much, like, it was just... For a long time, it was just me, my mom, and my brother. And it was, like, we didn't really talk to, like, any, like, distant family at all, you know? Like, it was just us. That's really, like, what we worried about, which is... You know, we just worried about us. And... Sometimes I don't understand the whole, like... Cousins and... Uncles and... You know, that whole dynamic of a relationship. Like, you know, like... Keeping up with those those people. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Um, and not... And I, neither do I really value it if I was just completely honest like it's not something that is super important to me but I don't know if that's like the right attitude with a lot of things and I kind of like struggle with that in my own mind because I don't know if it's the right attitude to because I don't really value it then I just don't do it like that I guess that's part partly like you know you want to do that but there's some things in life you won't value but other people really value 
and really care about and you do it because those people care about it. Does that make, I, 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 I don't even know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my mind. Like, like there's things that the people that you love care about and you don't really care about, but you do them because you care about the people, right? Or, or you even just care, care about people in general. Like you, you like you want people to feel good, you know, like overall, and I, I think I'm, I'm in that same place, right? Like I, like I want people to feel good and I want people to, I want to be in good standing with people, but I think, I don't know, sometimes that stuff just exhausts me. It really does. But really, I mean, I mean, for the last three, four months after, right after stream, I've just been just completely exhausted. So, uh, I think that has some, some to do with my mental state as well. All right, we got bamboo sticks. We are going to do logs as well, but let's just get the sticks going. So we'll get uh, bamboo sticks first as well over here. I think I'm going to put, actually we'll put the long sticks again. We'll put like long sticks, but the regular yeah, sticks. I think rest. We'll put that right there. Ooh, I need to go wash my hands. And I also need to rest. And I also need to eat. So we're gonna we're gonna go eat. Or we're gonna go wash our hands. Then we're gonna eat. Which I think I can actually probably cook. Actually, I won't be able to cook it because I am thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty. That's it. <laughs> Hopefully it's rained though. I think it's rained in between, so we should be alright. Uh, one thing I need to make is some soup. Soup is like really good in this game. So I'll try to do that. Yeah, but... I guess the whole like valuing like relationships thing. I want to... I want to value the relationships that I have more. And that's kind of like, I guess what I'm focusing on. As of late. I need some protein, man. We're going to sleep first, though, and then we're going to get some protein going. And we're going to sleep to right there. Boom. What do we need? Do we need protein? Oh, I do have some on here. Nice. That's huge. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, let's go check our snare trap and see if we got anything over there. Look at this. Do I kill it or what? Oh, it's dead. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Little armadillo. Armadillo shale. Shale. That's how I just said that. Why did I say that like that? That was weird. All right, let's reset this thing. Little armadillo shale. Can we use anything else for for bait here? Just a little larva. I think if we put no, there's something else I gotta put on this. I think it's like a banana leaf. I think it is a banana leaf. <laughs> It is. I'm so smart. Can we go here? Oh, oh, oh. Go 
gotta go back out of that. This is like a little cheat right here. A little cheat. <sighs> oh wait, never mind. What the? I don't know how to do this. We'll come back for that in a second. Little armadillo armor. Okay, let's go ahead and make another uh, fire over here. Our mud forge is probably ready too, which is nice. I'm making just like a small fire, nothing crazy. Let's go get some more sticks. thing that's kind of uh, been a lot on my mind lately as well is like what to stream has been on my mind a lot lately and it's kind of like funny right because a lot of people say I'll oh, just stream what stream what's working you know like make sure you just keep doing what's working and for me, like, I really enjoy, like, doing GTRP, and I really think it's a lot of fun. And here comes the butt. <laughs> but, I, like, I just don't think that's the, like, I don't think it's the complete side of, like, my creativity and, like, what I can show and what I can do. And I think... Like, I really care about... It's kind of, like, funny. Like, I honestly, like, have just, like, really grown to care about the community of the server that I play on and the people and all that kind of stuff. But at times, I mean, I just got to think about, like, what's going to be best for the stream overall, you know? Like, what really is, uh, is good for the stream and... I think that's why I'm trying to bring forth like a lot more different styles of content. I think that's something I'm really passionate about. I've always been really passionate about is doing things differently. There's there's like a saying that I have actually like on a little like label, like you know the things you get out of, off of like a label maker, like just those labels, <laughs> I guess you would just call them. <laughs> um, I've got those like. I've got those like uh, I got one of those on my on my monitor right here, and it just it just says do it big and do it different. And like I said, I, I love I love playing GTRP. Um, I think sometimes that allows me to do that and allows me to like stretch and, and like it stretches my creativity in crazy ways. And then I think other times it like it like hinders my creativity. And I truly feel like that's, uh, I really do feel that way. Um, I feel like sometimes it, it becomes like vegging out and just playing a game and not really creating things that people have to see, you know? And that's, that's kind of how I've always planned my stream and like taking care of my stream is, is trying to create things that people like have to see. Like they, they gotta click on this thing, you know? They gotta click on that notification that's going live. They need to see what's happening next. And there's times where I feel like I've done that through GTA RP, and there's sometimes where I feel like I haven't. Um, and there's times where I've done that outside of GTA RP, and many a times where I haven't as well. But I don't know where I do it better, and that's something I'm kind of wrestling with in my brain um, and trying to figure out. Is do I do that better inside of GTRP or do I do do that better outside of it? 
Uh, but I don't think it's like such a definitive answer to be honest. Like I, I don't think it needs to be this like, oh, is it is it good or is it bad? Like it doesn't have to be that way. I think it could legitimately be like, you know, it's good sometimes and we, we do it sometimes and other times we don't do it. And you know, like there's, yeah. It doesn't have to be like, oh, we always, we do this, like, we always do it, or we, or we never do it. I don't know. I guess that's just my thinking on it. But I, I've really been, like, having that internal dialogue for a while. But there's kind of, there is, like, one thing that I didn't really expect... When I got into GTA roleplay, and that was kind of the stress of sometimes what the server can expect from you, which might be something you guys don't really know about or haven't like seen, but like when you stream a server, sometimes they like sometimes they expect things from you, like. Sometimes it feels like I'm expected to do things like, I don't know, that's, just, that's probably like my own shit though, to be honest. And so it's not like something I'm trying to like put out there in some dramatic fashion, but. Sometimes it just feels like I have to, not like have to stream GTA roleplay, but I have to do particular, you know, oh man, like. You're helping the server so much, or you're doing this so much. Like, not by, like, me streaming it, but, like, by me just role-playing on it, or, or, or that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I sometimes feel that pressure. And to me, like, whenever there's pressure on me, it's never a good thing. <laughs> like, I never respond to pressure, like, well. Like, like I, I can, I can, like handle things under pressure but when it's some it, when it's like a thing putting pressure on me it, it kind of like pushes me away a little bit you know and that's kind of like one side of GTA roleplay I didn't really expect is that kind of uh, I suppose that kind of like drama, drama side of it I suppose would be the right term for it But uh, it's kind of like any like small, this is a glitch by the way, I shouldn't do this, but I am doing it. Uh, any small community is kind of that way, though. I mean, I experienced it when I, uh, when I was like pretty deep into like the whole church life and stuff like that. It was very much that way, you know, like where you, I don't know, you just feel like you have like these expectations where you're not, you're sure you're not, or you're not sure if it was like, you're just putting them on yourself or if they're actually being put on to you in a weird way. I don't know. I, need to rest. But I think I'm kind of, I get kind of triggered from that experience back in my life. I need to go rest like now, by the way, <laughs> this is like bad. Very bad. Are these gonna help at all? They did not help at all. I need to get back. Oh, please don't pass out. Passing out is really bad. Luckily, I have almost everything I need for it, but it just really sucks. I don't want to run because I will pass out. But I do need to sleep a little bit. I'm like almost out of proteins here. The smoker is not really helping right now. I need to put that on like a real fire. Come on now, baby. Come on now. All right, we got to sleep good. So if you don't fall asleep on your bed, you a lot of times get like worms on your body. And it's like really bad. It actually like really sucks. All right, we're all, we're all good on that side of things. Is that cooked? Good, I need to eat that like immediately. Let's go check our trap again. Let me eat that immediately. 
Eat that immediately. Boom. Yeah, we're starting to get some health back. Not bad. Oh, we don't have anything in our snare trap, huh? Interesting. Okay, so we've got a little place for food. Nothing too great. Our water is really where we're having some troubles right now. <gasps> we're actually having a lot of troubles with water. But that's okay. The, the coconuts are going to be okay for a little while. But we really need to get that... Uh, Water filtration thing. Oh, God I walked right into it. that. Damn. Okay, so what we can do. Let's go ahead and examine our, our bod here. Let's see what we got. I think we got a rash somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so what we're going to do. I'm going to grab our backpack open. Let's go ahead and grab the tobacco one. I think that... No? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know which one's for the rash. Then. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which one's for the rash, so... uh. Well, where's the SOL on this one, all right? Uh, the rash isn't really that bad. It just kind of takes away some sanity. Oh, wait. We don't have a fire under here anymore. That kind of sucks. All right. Let's build another fire, I suppose. Okay. Great. This will not just screw it. <laughs> That's okay, though. I think we're okay with that. We just need, um... We need to finish up what's going on down here. We do need protein, though. Pretty bad. Eat that. Eat that. These mushrooms... Most of the mushrooms are really good. Not too bad at all. All right, we're going to make some more mud here. So we can finish our off our roof on this whole thing and everything. And grab that water. I didn't I don't I don't know why I did that, but okay. Boom. Let's mix that mud. Bap. Looks like a butt. Not gonna lie to you. Looks like a butt. Boom. Boom. Probably should carry this the same way we did before, to be honest. You know, I probably should have brought the mixer up here. Now that I'm thinking about it. But, apparently I wasn't thinking before. We'll try to finish off this uh, this roof here, and then uh, we'll be good for the day. Didn't quite get as far as I wanted, but we built like a you know a trap, a snare trap. We built um, built this little storage area as well. Got a couple of the storage things up. I might do a couple things offline, but I doubt it. <laughs> I just doubt it. And most of all, hopefully we've had some good conversations today, and uh, maybe some things that have made you thought about things in your life or just things you didn't expect from mine or whatever you know maybe it just kept you uh focused on a car ride or maybe it put you to sleep i don't know one thing i know is that i've had a good time okay and that's for sure darn tootin but we do need some protein, that's for sure. We got leeches as well. Let's go ahead and check. Okay, no, stop hitting your own roof, you idiot.
Alright, let's go clean off. I think there's something with this. Yeah. We're gonna make some soup next. That's that's our move. You guys down? That'll be pretty good. <sighs> well, at least I have one roof down here. I think we can finish that one too. It's kind of a little bit of a. Uh, hopefully, this wasn't too boring. <laughs> you know, but you know, we're slowly adding onto our base here, and I'm trying to stay uh, committed to that. Like, you know, like one hour a week where we can kind of come back here, hang out, take some time, think about life, and uh, act like we know how to survive the elements when we really probably don't actually for sure I don't all right let's go ahead and wash off I think we'll probably finish there I'll just get that one fire going and then we'll uh get some soup going and we'll call it a day we'll end it by the fire is it it's not gonna start raining right now is it oh it is Fantastic. That's great. <laughs> the reason I say that is because uh, our fire really won't do much. What we can do, though, is... Uh, rest. Yeah, I do need to rest. I understand that. Actually, we'll probably won't even be able to start the fire right now. Here's what I'll do. Let's sleep a little bit and see if we can get rid of... Uh, the rain perfect okay perfect and then I'm gonna start a fire here hopefully I've got enough uh, oomph left in my stamina to start this fire oh barely dude okay boom fire is started let's go ahead and grab these real quick Okay, perfect. Boom. Boom. Okay. And then within here, I got some water. And that'll heat up and clean the water. And then I'm going to put the bones in there. Bone soup is like really good in this. If I remember correctly. Pretty damn good. I think we can keep it next to this fire for like as long as we want. Just kind of uh, OP, but hey, you know? Imagine we just throw that mouse in there. How are you feeling now? Let's see what the cassava soup gives us. It's going to give us no protein, so we need to make sure we know that. The bone soup gives us. 15 proteins, so that's like really good. Awesome. So we need to make sure we grab bones. Uh, that's a huge deal. Huge deal. Alright. Perfect. Okay. We are going to finish the day here. We have built... We've started to build a little bit of a storage place down there. Uh, it's going to be our, like our workshop kind of area. Uh, we'll keep tools down there, all that kind of stuff. Um... We've, uh, we've also got uh, our mud down there ready to go. 
We're gonna have water up here eventually, which uh, this is kind of our water right now. Boom. I appreciate you guys listening. Hopefully uh, this was a good second episode for you guys. Uh, and, you know, it wasn't too boring or anything like that. I appreciate you listening. And uh, thank you guys so much for engaging in any any of my uh, different things of content. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Love you. So long. Farewell. Goodbye.